around with something like this? Could they give you some type of suspended animation prison sentence, much like we saw in uh, not Judge Dredd, but Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone? Because in this film, they take the prisoners and they put them in suspended animation, freeze them, and they wake up several years later, I guess similar to what happened in Austin Powers, but Austin Powers did his by choice. What would happen if this was forcefully thrust upon you? And it's not just suspended animation in terms of cryogenic freezing, but you also have mind control jails. And we have mind control jail, psychoactive drugs could fix an overcrowded prison. So this article talks about a team of scholars at Oxford they're looking into using these drugs and also futuristic technologies like a mind transfer trick to put a prisoner's brain into a mode where they think they've been in prison for 1,000 years, even though it's only a short period of time, possibly a few hours. But let's think about this. Let's think about this very seriously. What happens to the mind like when you get bored? You know, you're sitting in line, you're at the movie theater, or you're wherever, you're standing in line at the grocery store, you get bored. And what happens to your mind over time? Same thing if you go to a prison, if you're locked in jail or even worse, you have a lengthy prison sentence. So what happens if you jam all these thoughts, these memories, all this blankness into a very short period of time? I'd imagine that your mind is very much fragmented and scarred by the issue. So as we look into these advanced technologies, I definitely think there is a uh, possible a good future for these things, but definitely do not be, uh, definitely do not brush off the horrible side effects and other things that could come about from these type of procedures, whether they be cryogenics, whether they be drugs. The drugs definitely concern me. The fact that you would try to simulate a thousand years in a few hours to somebody's mind, what does that do to your mind? And it just goes more into the military industrial complex. Any way they can to get you into the prison system, that's what they're going to do. And it may sound good on the surface. And yeah, I'd be tempted if, you know, if I was facing, you know, 20 some odd years, if I could go through my prison sentence in a few hours, I might be tempted to take that. But what effect does that have on you? And also it makes me think about the NDAA, indefinite detention. Is this going to be a new form of uh, torture or disappearance for this? Because you have your Guantanamo Bays, you have your Patriot Acts and all these things. What if instead of putting your physical being into a prison, they can just disappear your mind? And pretty much, yeah, just black bag your mind, throw it away. And we have several articles about that. We've been talking about this for several years since Obama signed this uh, a couple years ago, talking about the indefinite detention. So if they can get away from your mind, take your mind out of your body into some type of suspended animation, I know it sounds very futuristic, sounds very much like the singular singularity, but these things are becoming more and more of a reality, so we have to face these things as, uh, as time goes on. So stay tuned for our next segment with David Knight. He's going to be talking about all the things going on with the Nevada ranchers. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. At InfoWars, we've been warning people for a long time about Agenda 21. It's being sold to the public as protection against global warming, water shortages, and the loss of endangered species. But global warming lately has hit a bump in the road as a record increase in CO2 has not resulted in higher temperatures, but falling temperatures. Although temperatures may be cooling, Agenda 21 is heating up with the government asserting control on the basis of water shortages and endangered species, Right now in Nevada, we can see how this is being played out. A ranching family that's had cattle grazing on public land since 1877 is now being forced off of public land, supposedly to save a desert tortoise. I'm Cliven Bundy. I live here on my ranch at Riverside, Nevada uh, with my wife, and uh, I have I've raised 14 children here. I've got uh, 50, uh, 48 grandchildren. They're all cowboys and all cowgirls. I'm the last man standing in Clark County, and actually the last man standing across the Mojave Desert through the uh, Pacific Ocean that's actually in the ranching business. Cliven Bundy used to have 52 neighbors with ranches. Everyone but him has now been regulated off of the land and put out of business. Well, they're taking our cattle off the range. So we got over there just to take some pictures. We asked them about our First Amendment right to be able to view and take pictures. You know what they told us? They said, you have no right. Then they took my brother down because he was taking a picture and they tackled him and beat him up and they sick a German Shepherd dog on him. Clearly with 52 out of 53 ranches gone and no longer grazing on over 600,000 acres, the desert tortoise is not under pressure from the very last ranch remaining. And just last August, the Bureau of Land Management, the very same bureaucracy that's pointing snipers at the Bundy Ranch and arresting family members, the BLM announced that it would kill half of the 1,400 tortoises it kept and abandon the rest. It's not about the tortoise. The federal government has shown up in its brand new trucks and cattle trailers, stealing the cattle of the Bundy family. The Bundy family can be seen here looking the thieves in the eye and taking pictures of them as they drive off their cattle. We've got 200 something plus federal agents up there in a compound, a military compound that they have put together. And it is, uh, they've got snipers and uh, military, everybody's armed, put it that way. And, uh, and they have been monitoring our ranch with high tech uh, surveillance equipment. It wasn't about the grazing fees. It never was about the grazing fees. It's about the control. They want to eliminate me. They want to make this a, a national uh, conservation area with 13 wildernesses. In the name of sustainability and protection of the environment, the government is executing an incremental plan to remove people from the land and concentrate them into urban areas for greater control. As we've reported for a long time, the plan is scripted by the UN and called Agenda 21. It's the UN's agenda for the 21st century. This map shows the UN's plan for the near future. The areas in red will have no human use. Areas in yellow, highly regulated use. The light green areas are for normal use. Do you see much light green normal use area? I don't. It's a hunger game future of total government control with humans driven off of the land. It's well underway out west. Look at this map of the west showing how much land the federal government is already asserting ownership over and now acting as if it's their private fiefdom. When it comes to water shortages, they promote the virtue of sustainability. Yet when local news in Florida did a story about a woman who had created a sustainable, off-the-grid dwelling using solar power and rainwater collection, the city cracked down on her the very next day, citing violation of an international code. A code enforcement officer came, knocked on the door, then post a placard that says uninhabitable property, do not enter. A Cape Coral code enforcement officer posting this notice to vacate. No hearing, no nothing. Putting a woman who lives by herself, who's a widow, out on the street without any notice. 
The notice cites International Property Maintenance Code and states the property is unsafe to be lived in. In Wyoming, a welder and his family built a stock pond on his eight acres, a place where his horses could drink and his children could play. But even though he followed all the rules at the time, the EPA has now written new rules to assert even more control. They're fining this man now $75,000 a day. He said, I've not paid them a dime, nor will I. I will go bankrupt if I have to, fighting it. This goes a lot further than a pond. It's about a person's rights. I have three little kids. I am not going to roll over and let the government tell me what I can do on my land. I followed the rules. Again, in Oregon, a man has been sent to jail and fined because he collected rainwater falling on his property. According to Oregon water laws, all water is publicly owned. Preaching sustainability but trying to evict anyone who practices it? Destroying all the ranches around Clark County, Nevada in the name of protecting a desert tortoise while the same bureaucracy kills over a thousand of these same tortoises? When the government takes our cattle, we become the cattle, dependent on them for food. Will we let them add regulations one at a time until we drown in tyranny? Or will we join together, achieving critical mass to act together to preserve our individual rights to property, to water, and to life? And that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. But if you'd like to learn more about Agenda 21, you can stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up the United Nations pack. It has Endgame and also Rosa Corey's Behind the Green Mask. Uh, this is very important information. You can give it out to your city councils, to your local sheriffs. All, kind, all types of people can benefit from this information, including yourself as well. So definitely take a moment, look through this. It's an easy read. We have it here at the office and definitely encourage you guys to pick that up. So this cannot happen to you because they want to spread this all around the states not just in Nevada. They want to go everywhere and take all the land for themselves and leave you with pretty much nothing. They'll have small zones that you can operate in, and all this is detailed in Rosa Corey's book. So that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.